I think it's clear that the system protected the billionaires and not the families they hurt. The attorney general of Massachusetts was the first to go after Purdue Pharma and specifically the Sackler family that owned it by hurting their bank account. But she could not convince the Department of Justice to bring criminal charges against the people that pushed OxyContin as a safe painkiller starting in the mid-90s. If this was a, a, a drug dealer on the street corner with a hoodie on, that person will be in jail. Avi Israel's teen son Michael was prescribed opioids in Buffalo after surgery for painful Crohn's disease. He fatally shot himself in 2011. I'll never have Michael back. More than 500,000 Americans have died from fatal opioid overdoses in the last two decades, many of them young. Avi Israel joined forces with Long Island mom Linda Ventura, who lost her son Thomas to an OD, demanding Governor Cuomo create a lockbox law for opioid settlements to make sure the cash goes to addiction services. New York's attorney general worked with Massachusetts and Minnesota on the latest deal. Are we satisfied with this agreement? By no means. But James said the settlement of over $4 billion will make a huge difference in New York. It's close to $500 million that will specifically be used for abatement, for hospital beds, for treatment. New Jersey is slated to get $110 million under the plan. A spokesman for the Sackler family released a statement saying, this resolution to the mediation is an important step toward providing substantial resources for people and communities in need. The Sackler family hopes these funds will help achieve that goal. The attorney general said the Sackler family needs to apologize. The perpetrators who created this crisis are villains for the history books. And that's where Purdue Pharma and the Sacklers belong. The company Purdue Pharma will cease to exist by 2024. Under the deal, the Sackler name will be erased from hospital wings and museums the family funded. The company will also be forced to post millions of pages of internal documents on the web for the public to see. Tamsin and Corey.